Hi, I'm Dave, and I just ate some very unhealthy food. <laughs> That's what my body used to sound like before I tried HelloFresh. I had a very unhealthy relationship with fast food. Thank goodness we broke up. Go to HelloFresh.com slash FullHouseFree and use code FullHouseFree for free breakfast for life. One breakfast item per box while subscription is active. But that's free breakfast for life at HelloFresh.com slash FullHouseFree with code FullHouseFree. Because you don't want your body sounding like this. You want your body sounding fresh. Hello, fresh. Hello, Full House Rewind fans. Want to see more? Go over to Apple, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcasts and hit that follow button. That's right. That would be music to my ears, kind of like follow, 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 follow button. Welcome to episode 11 of Full House Rewind. I'm your host, Dave Coulier. It's the second half of our season, and just like Jesse Cochran became Jesse Katsopoulos, we've changed a few things here to make the show run a little bit better. Because we love you, and we know how much you love Full House. Our guest today is a very talented, funny, funny actress. You know her from Full House, of course, Fuller House, and That Girl Lele on Nickelodeon. She also co-hosts a very successful podcast with Jody Sweeten called How Rude Tanneritos, but you know her best as Kimmy Gibbler. Here's a picture of Andrea when Full House was on the air. Oh, how cute. Please welcome Andrea Barber. Aww. Rounds of applause, screams, cheers. <laughs> Oh, uh, hi. How hi. are you? Hi, what a lovely welcome. And we're both wearing green. And we're both, we're yeah, like, we didn't even plan that. No, we're like we're, two We're like two peas without a pod. Yeah. But we're on a pod. We're on a pod. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Strong <laughs> I, start, Dave. Wow, I really, I can't believe I even said that. Can we start over? Because <laughs> no, I want to take that it. one don't back. Don't cut that out. That, that was, was great. Oh, look what you just did. Cut it out, but don't cut it out. <laughs> um, I can't wait to get to all of our questions because I think there's lots of stuff I've never asked you all these years. Oh, please. You yeah, can ask me anything. Yeah. I'm an open book. I know you are. We always have fun. We always have fun. We have all I, our stupid little bits that we do. Um, that makes sense to nobody else. To nobody except else. Except for us. Nobody nobody else. Yeah. And um, we're you're here now for episode number 11, also known as the big 3-0. Oh, yes. Um, this episode 11 was directed by Howard Storm. Do you remember Howard? I don't. Hmm. No. First aired on ABC December 11th, 1987. Do you remember that? I remember that date. You exactly. That yes. Date? <laughs> so um, <laughs> what we're going to do is grab your little oh. uh, script over there. Okay. Can you please give us the uh, the rundown on what this episode is about? Sure. Is that this first little paragraph it's, where that it I'm says, supposed to read? It, it says Andrea oh, okay. right there. Yeah. Excellent. I write these, so sometimes, you know, I never know if I made a mistake because I, I don't check my homework all the time. That's okay. I'll yeah. have my little red editor's pen in my back pocket. So oh, I'll perfect. Just, I'll correct as I go. Okay, yeah. good. I want to see your red editor's pen. <laughs> I've never seen that. Maybe we can talk about that too. Okay. All right. Here we go. Um, but yes, I would love to give you a rundown. Um, first, Danny arrives at his surprise 30th birthday party only to discover that Jesse has accidentally driven his prized car into the bay. Oh, man. Mm. And if that doesn't pull you in right away. Right? Right? This is, this and, is a big episode. And it is a big episode and we're going to describe it. Okay. You ready to describe the whole episode? Yeah. I'm going to start us off. Okay. okay? Go for All it. All right. And if anything comes to mind while we're reading this, just jump in. Okay. Okay. So Great. it's open, open forum. Okay. Love it. Um, okay. Here we go. Uh, episode 11 opens with Joey and the girls having breakfast in the kitchen as they discuss Danny's surprise party for his 30th birthday. Joey demonstrates how old 30 is by pouring cereal into a bowl. It's a lot of cereal. It is a lot of cereal. 30, right? Yes, it is. <laughs> yes. Uh, then Jesse enters with Michelle, who has balloons tied onto her butt. <laughs> She's so cute. She looks like a little cheerleader. Yes, she does. Um, Danny enters and has a tough time admitting that he's 30 years 30. old. 30. 
Ooh, tough. He's a baby. I know He's it's a tough. baby. It's tough. But it's admitting okay. Admitting you're thirty. I yes. Know. When you're thirty, I, it's tough admitting you're thirty. It but is. It is. When you're over thirty, you're like, ugh. I miss being 30. I wish I was half of what I am now, which would still be 30. more than 30. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're really we did the dating. show a long time we're, ago. We're, we are. We're, we're very old. <laughs> yes. But uh, that's okay because we're adjacent to John Stamos, so we don't age. Yes. I'm going to I'm gonna channel Bob Saget right now. Okay. I'm dating myself, which is something I did all through high school. Ah, yes. Ah, okay. Ah, channeled ah, Bob. Ah, there we go. You're welcome, Bob. <laughs> um Back so, to the show. Back to the show. The girls give Danny a birthday card, which states that their gift is that they will change Michelle's diaper and a free car wash for Danny's car, Bullet, which he bought on his 20th birthday. 20th birthday, yep, Bullet. They all exit to the living room and reveal a limo driver at the front door. Hmm. Mm. Yeah, who just stands there. Yeah, no Poor lines. Guy. No lines, yeah. He I probably know. didn't get paid if he didn't have a line. Uh, well, maybe as an extra. Okay. okay. Yeah. Yeah. Reduce straight. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I felt bad for that guy. <laughs> I know. <laughs> um, Danny's present is a chauffeur driven limo for a day. Before Danny leaves, he reminds Joey and Jesse that he does not want a party. Jesse and Joey exit to get bullet fitted for new sheepskin seat covers. Mm. Doesn't want a party. Q party. Right. Yes. That's, that is the sign that a party is imminent. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> Cue elephants, dogs, balloons, yeah. giraffes. Yes. It wouldn't be full house. It wouldn't be. Without all of that. Yes. Later on, we're back at the house. The surprise party has started and oh, everyone. There you go. It's already started. It's already started. Yeah. Everyone's waiting for Danny to arrive. But we cut to the backyard and find Jesse looking at Bullet, which is now completely totaled and covered in muck. muck. Ugh. Ugh. Jesse shows the wrecked car to DJ, Steph, and Joey. Danny arrives home and everyone yells, surprise! As Danny is opening presents, Stephanie inadvertently brings the seat covers into the living room and Danny opens them. Danny, holding the seat covers, exits to the backyard and sees his demolished car bullet. Danny is devastated. Wah, wah. The next scene opens with Danny reading Michelle a story. Joey enters and tries to cheer Danny up about turning 30 by doing a baby impression. Mm -hmm. Which would have been a voice like this. Oh. Yeah. Uh, that's what I did in Michelle's voice. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. I remember that. They asked me, can you do a baby voice? And I said, well, sure, of course. Yeah, so that whole first season, you were Michelle's baby voice. I was voice. Michelle, Michelle's baby voice. Aww. Yes, yes. But, and I never got to do the voice of Comet, though. I oh. wanted to. Dennis Rensler. Oh, I remember he's a he had perfect a, golden retriever. <laughs> and he had a New York he? accent. Remember, yeah. There was an episode where he, he we're in the backyard eating and, and Comet says, did somebody drop a hamburger? <laughs> that was Dennis? <laughs> that was yes. Dennis. Perfect yes. voice for a dog. Yeah. And I'm like, I never knew Comet was from Brooklyn. Yeah. Hey, yeah. That fits. That fits. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, back to the show. Back to the show. Um, after I do my Michelle's voice. Mm-hmm. Jesse enters and announces that he's got a big surprise for Danny. Mm. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> Joey and Jesse exit. They arrive at a used car dealership and find a car that looks identical to Bullet. They bargain with Paul, the smarmy used car dealer, but just get into a bidding war with a customer on the phone who just happens to be Danny. Danny. This is a great, great scene <laughs> intercut between the living room yes. and the dealership. Yes, I love this. it is. They end up buying the car for a discounted price. When Jesse and Joey arrive back at the house, Danny reveals that he's fallen in love with a new car, a Jeep, Jeep Wagoneer. Wagoneer. Uh-oh. Mm, yep. But then the guys take Danny into the backyard and show him the new bullet. Danny is ecstatic and names his new car Walter. Hi, I'm Dave, and I just ate some very unhealthy food. <laughs> That's what my body used to sound like before I tried HelloFresh. I had a very unhealthy relationship with fast food. Thank goodness we broke up. I am not going to spend a lot of time cooking something. I'm like you. I'm too busy. That's why I love HelloFresh. I don't know why I waited so long, honestly. Now, instead of fast food, my food arrives fast. HelloFresh 
arrives on your doorstep, 15 minutes later, boom, you're sitting down to dinner. Well, what's on the menu, chef? You can have just about anything, Dave. Meat and veggies, or just veggies, plant-based meals. Family-friendly, you know, kid-tested recipes. And fit and wholesome. <laughs> and my Full House friends, go to HelloFresh.com slash Full House Free and use code Full House Free for free breakfast for life. One breakfast item per box while subscription is active. But... That's free breakfast for life at HelloFresh.com slash Full House Free with code Full House Free. Because you don't want your body sounding like this. You want your body sounding fresh. Hello Fresh. Did we ever know why he named it Walter? No. I wondered if we, that was an ad lib by Bob. You know, it uh, felt yeah, like, random. Was he a Walter Cronkite fan? Walter Peyton, like, who was a famous Walter that Bob would know? Maybe he had a, a guy who worked at the deli with him in Philadelphia <laughs> back when he, before he moved to L.A., named Walter, and it just came out. There's you no never telling. knew with There's Bob. no telling. No. You never knew with it's Bob. Just, it was just whatever came out that day. Yes. That was now, that's now lore, full house lore. It is. Now yeah. his car is Walter. Walter. Okay. Yeah. Great. The episode ends with the family driving Walter across the Golden Gate Bridge as a cover of the Beatles' Drive My Car plays underneath. Aww, Baby, you can drive, drive my car. car. Yeah. That is a great cover. I wonder how much that cost to <laughs> license that song. You know, there were a lot of songs that we played that were probably a lot of money. Oh, yeah. And I would think nowadays would be even more. <sighs> yeah. Right? Very expensive. Yeah, yeah. Be like thousands and thousands. Like the Beatles? That's. I mean, they've got a billion songs in their catalog, but yeah. I would still think. And I wonder if it was when Michael Jackson owned the Beatles catalog. Oh. Because the Beatles sold their catalog to Michael Jackson. He oh, bought it. I didn't it. know that. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So I wonder if that was a, a ka-ching for Jackson yeah. or... Uh, He's just collecting that cash. Yeah. You know? Got to pay for all of his surgeries somehow. So, you know, just <laughs> license money to Full House <laughs> or license songs to Full House. You know, uh, you know how you always have to do like background, you know, uh, research about your guests. Mm -hmm. There was stuff I didn't know about you. Ooh. So what did you not know? We've never talked about this. Okay. You were on a soap days of our lives. Yes. Like how old were you? I never knew that. Oh, you didn't know that? I yes. had no idea. I was on days of our lives. That was my first long term. Were job. you funny on days of our lives or was no. it kind of a straight oh, no. character? It was a had soap opera. So I was no kidnapped, drugged. I had got, I was in a coma <laughs> for three weeks. I Just had, recently or? Yeah. Oh, oh you're oh. still talking about days of our lives. Oh yeah. yeah. No, oh, um, okay. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> no, um, that was my first like regular job. I started on my sixth birthday. Or right oh my around gosh. my sixth birthday, because they brought out a cake for me in the shape of a barber pole. <laughs> and that's what I remember about my first day on the job was the cake, because I was like, this is great. You show oh up to work, God. you get a birthday wow. cake. It was fantastic. Um, and yeah, I did that for three and a half years. So your character's name was what? Carrie Brady. Carrie there were Brady. three actresses that played Carrie Brady, and I was the first. Oh, so you were the young Carrie Brady. I was the they... young Carrie Brady, Roman Brady's daughter and uh, Marlena's step daughter you probably don't know this if you haven't watched days but the hard the oh, hardcore are you fans kidding i'm hardcore no, yeah. hardcore days of our <laughs> lives Lori was on a soap and so was john yeah, I, yeah and i i knew that about them but i didn't know that about you okay so did you leave the show you said i'm turning eight i'm out of here <laughs> i got a bright future doing other stuff well like i got fired no I did. well that really? sounds dramatic but yeah i did and it was not personal but at right. least I didn't take it personally, but... So they bring in a new actress all of yeah. a sudden, like next season? Yeah, or it might and have even been the next day. That but, happens in show business so much, yeah. like all of a sudden, you know, like Jesse Cochran just becomes Jesse Katsopoulos, Katsopoulos. Yeah. like out of nowhere. No, but the, um, my character, Carrie Brady, they wanted a teenage, uh, like a, a love storyline for the summertime. So oh. they were like, yeah, you're you're nine years old. I was nine and a half. And they were just like, forget it. So Carrie went upstairs to play with her toys. And she came back downstairs more developed. Really? And uh, dating some boy. Yeah. Wow. So, yeah. You were too young to date a boy. Oh, yeah. So they needed to like fast forward. They did. 
But that's okay because it led to much bigger and better things. Wow. Like Full House. So were, were you uh, in like school plays as a kid? No, you started too young. You probably, were you doing school plays uh, well, in community theater? Or in com- it was like community that? theater. Oh, yes. Okay. The barbers, that, we were a strange family. We grew up doing community theater, like f- the whole family. We would do like a Christmas really? carol. And well, did your mom? Yeah, your my mo- mom. Your mom, she right? Wrote, yeah, my mom was a great actress, You're, great writer, great actress. Any Sherry anything, Barber, Sherry Barber, we Sherry love Barber, her. we yes. love her. And um, yeah, anything that is good or positive about me, I get it from my mom. And so she roped the whole family into doing community theater, and that's what wow. launched her kids. See, my brothers did I, acting too as children. I, I don't know you. I don't, I'm Andrea. <laughs> <laughs> nice to meet you, Dave. <laughs> How did we end up being two peas in a pod? We've got some talking to do if we're going to be in the same pod. Um, now, was Don your dad, too? He wasn't. Your dad's an attorney. Well, yeah, he he's an attorney. Yeah. But um, I think he did the Christmas Carol. He did, he did it, too. He got roped in to the holiday performances. Did you guys ever act in The Barber of Seville? No, that missed would opportunity. Been, that would have been great. Darn it. Oh, gotta go man. back. Gotta go back. And then and they could have presented it. you with another cake and after the run of that play. That's really all I want is barber pole shaped cakes. <laughs> we'll talk. Yeah. Yeah, uh, for I'm anyone, expecting that. Anyone yeah. listening or watching, let's get a barber pole cake for Andrea, please. <laughs> Someone's gonna do that. Oh, I, I welcome that. Yeah. 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 I love um, cake. We met on season one of Full House, right? You were there right at the beginning. Yes, I I started in the third episode. The first day of school episode. Yeah, yeah. Um, I was only in that first scene, but, you know, and Kimmy Gibbler's mentioned in the pilot, so I feel like my character was right in from the very first yeah. show, but then I appeared finally in episode three. There was three. N- no one else who could have played Kimmy Gibbler. But, you know, looking back <laughs> at the show, wouldn't it have been weird for any of our characters to be played by somebody else? Oh, yeah. Well, it you know would've... I auditioned for DJ first. You did? Yeah. Well, and obviously, got, I didn't get that role. I you did didn't? terribly at that. How, you didn't. Did get you know that? that I didn't get that part? I had yeah. no idea that you didn't get that. <laughs> but I remember when they brought me back. They yeah. said, "Hey, come back and read for the role of of the neighbor." Right. And they, they didn't know it was going to be the wacky. It was just I was just yeah. DJ's friend at the right. time. So I came back to do that, and it, it was weird because I was on a show called Our House, mm-hmm. also about a widow with three children. And I played the friend. And so I'm like, what is happening? Like, you, why do I keep getting these auditions and roles house for shows. house shows with widows? And I always play the friend. Um, that was a show with Wilford Brimley, Shannon Doherty, Deidre Hall. Oh, my god! Who played my mother on Days of Our Lives. It's very What, what network was that show on? I don't know. Okay. But uh, I mean, it's not on anymore. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I, I remember coming back for Kimmy Gibbler. And then I made it to the callback round. And I was like, okay. Take it or leave it. And they were like, come on, join the show. It was supposed to be a one-time appearance, and wow. it turned into eight years. Our casting life. ladies, do you remember who they were? No, who were? It was Fern Champion okay. and Pamela Basker. Oh, okay. I yeah. recognize the names. Those were our casting ladies. That, that's who cast me. Okay. That, that's who brought me in for my original reading with Jeff and Tom and Bob. Okay. And then um, Tom Miller asked if I, after I read for Joey Gladstone, uh, and it wasn't his character's what name wasn't Joey Gladstone. Oh, it wasn't? No, because Jeff said, I need to get a, later after I got the role, Jeff said, I need a last name for your character. Oh, okay. And I said, how about Gladstone? And he laughed and he goes, all right. <laughs> That's how simple it was. And you just came up with that on the fly? You didn't I just, have any sort of reasoning? Well, I, I knew uh, a guy named David Gladstone, who was the brother-in-law of the comedy club owner in Detroit. It was his brother-in-law. Okay. And uh, he's kind of this quirky guy. And I always thought, that's a funny name. I wish my last name was Gladstone. It's like, you're glad you're stoned. Yeah, you're glad you're stoned. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. If you're glad, you're stoned. And so I thought that was funny. It made Jeff laugh. And he he just said, okay. That's great. But I remember reading for my role. Mm -hmm. And then Tom Miller stopped me. And he goes, wait a second. Can you... (laughs) That's how Tom talked. Yeah. It, with the wait hand a sec, too. With the hand motions. And he would always <laughs> do this thing where he'd go, Dave, can you read for the part of the father? Really? And Jeff always says, yeah. So I said, okay, yeah, give me five minutes. So I took the sides, went out, came back in and read for the role of the father. As soon as they said that, I said, well, I didn't get this. Because oh. they didn't like the Joey reading that I did. That's oh. what I thought. 
And then I got home and there was a message on my answering machine mm -hmm. back mm -hmm. in the day. And it was my manager, Brad Gray, who talked like this. He was like, Dave, you got this full house pilot. Mm. And uh, that was it. But um, yeah, they were there. And I remember Jeff was so mad because he said, yeah, I, I was so mad because you nailed it. it you were the guy. And yeah. then Tom goes read for the father. And he's like, what are you, what are you doing? Let's just, let's just hire the guy. Well, they had trouble casting Danny Tanner from I was what there. I hear. So yeah, they were just like anybody coming yeah, off the everybody. street, read for Danny Tanner. Yeah. And me and John had to do like little screen tests with other oh, Dannys. Did you oh. ever know that? I knew, I knew that, but I don't know who, who, do you know who else? Read for the role besides John Posey. Yeah, and I have a tape somewhere oh. of of they gave it to us. Oh, how cool! And I have the other fathers, and one guy was was reading with us, and he was so nervous. He was like, you could oh. hear the paper rustling, oh. and John's going, "Do you hear the paper rustling? Do you hear the paper rustling? You got the guy, the guy's doing this. It's like, it's like listening to a sailboat going by, you know, <laughs> you know, John. Oh yeah, he just it, yeah. perturbed about yeah, the whole thing. Yeah, he was he was just perturbed about the guy. I, I was like, the guy was nervous. Like, cut him some slack, you know, because it can be. Oh yeah, you know? screen tests, auditions, it's yeah. awful. It's a torturous process. Yes. Did you ever have to audition at CBS where they have a stage? No. CBS has a stage. Really? I, yeah, I did a pilot, the same pilot twice. Okay. Um, called Local Zeros. Oh. And it was really funny, but I had to go there and Leslie Moonves was there okay. and, and uh, all the producers and casting people. They have a stage like down in the belly of CBS studios. Oh, wow. And you have to go on the stage and you play the scene on a stage you have to sing and, we, and dance project uh, your voice yes That's i did <laughs> i've gotta sing i've gotta dance under the desk right now you should see how fast my feet are moving oh, i'm yeah. dancing i'm dancing and then um we did the same pilot twice and uh our one of our guest star actresses got fired Lori was on um on the uh studio lot I called Lori and I said, hey, they just fired our actress. Do you want a job? She goes, yeah. I go, come over here. She goes, I'm on the, I'm on the same lot. What are I the said, odds? come over and read this script. She came over, read the script. I called Leslie Moonves. I said, hey, they just fired the actress. Um, Lori's interested. He goes, tell Lori not to leave. Oh. And we made a deal that afternoon. Wow. Isn't that a crazy wow. story? Yeah, that yeah. was just that's kismet. Like that was isn't meant that to it was be. just like Lori was there and she was like, okay, I got nothing to do. Yeah, and so Lori came in and and played that character. Amazing. And the show never got picked up. Uh, but well, we did the same pilot twice. Mm, well, isn't that crazy? Like Full House too. Yeah, you did yeah. the same pilot twice, or yeah. at least you had to redo some scenes <laughs> once Bob joined. Um, yeah. Uh, it, you have always had such a great sense of humor. Now, I know your family. I know your mom and dad. I know your brother. Mm -hmm. um, where do you think your sense of humor comes from? Um, I would say my mom. Yeah. She's very sarcastic and yes. very quick. Yes. And my brothers have it, too. It's not, definitely not from my dad. He's too analytical. He's the lawyer man, so he's definitely... But your dad laughs. He gets the jokes. Oh, oh yeah, he does. Yeah. But he's just not like... It's not that quick-witted, quick... -witted, quick quick quips yeah um so i think i get that from my mom yeah and my brothers too they're hysterical yeah, yeah. your mom kind of had a dry wit sometimes oh yeah very dry and i would just go i'm not sure if she's being funny or she hates my guts yeah, a little of both no little. She, she loved you she <laughs> loved you even when you and bob especially were fooling around on the set making all the inappropriate jokes and then the moms were sitting up in the bleachers i know and they'd be like Dave? I know. We were Bob. awful. Uh, we were immature. But well. <laughs> I look back and I think that was so fun, though, because everybody was laughing. Oh, yeah. So I was like, okay, I'm going to cross the line here. I'm yeah. going to do something. I'm going to blow a hand fart. Yeah. Okay. And someone would bend over and I would blast a loud hand fart. Oh. And I couldn't help myself that day. <laughs> Dave. But I think farts are funny. I had like nine uncles growing up. And my joke is I pulled more fingers than an orthopedic surgeon growing yeah. up. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> so, well, as, the, as kids, we even if we didn't understand your jokes, you and Bob and John, we laughed anyways because we were like, did. "Oh, 
it went right over our heads. But we were like, oh yeah, this is this must be funny because everyone else is laughing. So we would laugh along too, just uh, to feel like part of the part of the in crowd. You that's know? all we do. Um, yeah. I would love, I have so many more questions to ask you and stuff to talk about. And we have so much fun just, just, you know, reminiscing and stuff. Mm -hmm. Can I get you to come back for another episode? Oh, of course. Yeah. Okay. Well, Is that I'm it? Not, Are we done? Yes. No, oh, we're not okay. done. Like, we got lots what? of stuff. <laughs> we just we're started. Gonna, yes, I know. Oh, it yeah. feels like we just started, but yeah. I've got like, I've got like two pages of questions. Oh, and I'm thinking, okay. oh my gosh, it just flies by. It does. Um, can we do a little, um, can we play a little game with you? Oh, please. You know? I love games. Okay. All right. So we're going to, uh, we're going to play a little game called what's my line. Okay. Okay. And the rules are simple. I'm going to read three quotes and you have to guess which one is full from full house. Oh, I like this. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and it doesn't, e even if you don't get the correct answer, you'll probably still win a prize. I hope so. Yeah. Okay. So you can't, you really can't lose. Right. So you can't lose at this game because you're going home with a prize. Okay, good. Yeah, is it a barber pole shaped It's cake? a barber oh. pole. Oh, man, you ruined the surprise. <laughs> our staff is so quick. They whip that up in our <laughs> our staff cooked. kitchen yeah. over there. They just I, they cooked it they, just in, in 10 minutes. Yes, Amazing. they did. They just pulled it. Oh, <laughs> man. All right. Make another cake. <laughs> Something green. Okay. Two peas. Yes, not two in peas a pod. in a pod cake. All right. There we go. Um, okay, I'm going to ask you, you ready? Okay, so you're going to read three quotes. Yes. And I got to guess which one's Full House. Yes. Got it. Yes, okay. <clears throat> All right. Birthdays aren't about numbers. They're about who you spend them with. You guys made this one great. Full House? That's or? Full House. That's Full House. That's ding, 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 ding. That's from this episode. Ding, ding, yes. ding, ding. See? I oh, did my you, homework. I know. I did my That's homework. That's how I can tell if people did their yeah, homework see? right oh, there. Have people showed up and not okay. watched the episode? Maybe. Oh, don't not name gonna names. Say, not going to say who. Don't say who. Okay. Not going to say who. You can tell me later. Okay, here's another one. Okay. If you vote for me, all of your wildest dreams will come true. No, that's not Full House. Well, what do you think that's from? Like, I love Lucy? Like, what accent are you doing? <laughs> Is this I'll, I'll do it again. Ricardo? I'll do it again. If you vote for me, all of your wildest dreams will come true. Is this from a sitcom? I'll say another line that this character said. I don't know. Why don't you build her a cake or something? Well, okay, they're laughing back there, so I'm the only one that's not in on this. It's not Full House. Pedro from Napoleon Dynamite. Oh, oh, oh man. man. Okay. You're still probably going to win. <clears throat> I hope so. You're, you're still probably going to. I got overconfident with, uh, with okay. that first one. Well, because you, you, boom, just boom. nailed right, it. Right, right. Yeah, you okay. were on top of it. Okay, you ready for the I, third I, quote? I Here hope we so. go. <clears throat> I see you're drinking 1%. Is that because you think you're fat? Because you're not. You could be drinking whole if you wanted to. Full House or not Full House? It was not Full House. Do you know who that was? No. <laughs> Did you ever see the movie Napoleon Dynamite? No. <laughs> oh, you have to watch it. It's one of my That's favorite Napoleon movies. Napoleon Dynamite too? Yeah, yes. That's what I should have watched to prepare yes. for today. I should have told you, whatever you do, don't watch Napoleon Dynamite okay. before you go. But you know what? You are still a winner. <laughs> ding, Woo! ding, 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 Yay! ding. And what do I have oh, for you? Oh, you have prizes back what there. What do I have for you? I have a cut it out shirt. Oh, yay. I have a cut it out hat. Aww. I have a little um, special card from Juan that Aww. just, you know, that's, you. you can read that. You can read that when you're in your um, Ferrari on the way home. Oh, um, Don't you have a Ferrari? No. Really? No. I thought that Nickelodeon show was, you know, Oh, yeah, like no. That's, for, we're giving her a Ferrari as that, part of the deal. No, that I got to park with the peasants over in the across the street from Radford. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> no, uh, but thank you. This is I. I have some cut it out swag at uh, at home, but I don't think I have these items. You don't so. have the hat. I don't have the hat. You for do, sure. I know you don't have the hat. I have the yeah. mask. You did I, masks during the pandemic. That's right. Um, and I might have a shirt. I have other shirts here. You can probably pick one from our secret um, oh, cabinet back there. Nice. Yeah, I have some that say. I want to be Joey Gladstone when I don't grow up. Oh. You can maybe have one of those oh, or a I woodchuck won't. shirt. <gasps> can we do woodchuck? one more fun thing before you go? Please, yes. Okay, you have another script over there. Oh, We're, um, uh, every episode of Full House, of course, 
you know, had that heartfelt scene. So we've cut out a little scene from episode 11. Okay. And we're going to read it together, you and I. Oh, good. All right. And we'll have that nice music come in. Mm, uh, here the violins. It comes. Yes, here it comes. Uh, My favorite part. You ready to start? I'm ready. All right. Jesse, Joey, and Danny are in the kitchen. Danny says, you two were the yo-yos? Yo. Yo. I love that car. I thought you just said bye-bye bullet. To the old bullet, you have to move on in life. So, move on to your wagoneer. Hmm? Hey, what better symbol for the next decade than a gift from my two best friends? Birthdays aren't about numbers. They're about who you spend them with. You guys made this one great. Hmm. You really want to keep the car? Absolutely. Thank you. The guys hug. Uh, happy birthday. Happy birthday ag again. again. You know what really feels nice? For the first time, it feels great to be 30. <gasps> he said it. Yes. So what are you going to name him? Bullet Junior? <laughs> Come on, Joey. A grown man doesn't name his own car. Go get the kids. Let's go for a spin. Danny exits to the backyard. And then he talks to his car. I'll be right back, Walter. Mm. And the scene ends, isn't everywhere it? Everywhere you look, yeah, that's everywhere. That's right. That's right. <laughs> hey, I am Aww. so, I'm just I'm happy every time I see you. I love you so much, I Dave. Love you and too. I'm so honored to be here. I'm so proud of you. Oh, thank you. This is you. such a great Thanks. format for you. Yeah, I just I'm love watching fun. you shine. I'm like, having fun. I love fun. watching you I'm shine. I'm having fun. And I did your show too, yeah. which was, we had a lot oh, of- Oh, it was so many laughs. Probably way too much fun. It's, it's yeah. so much fun. Yes. All right, ladies and gentlemen, please, let's hear it for Andrea Barber. Mm. Yay! Mwah. <laughs> applause, cheers, a, a crowd of 700 oh, people out there. Amazing, it's crazy. amazing. Here's some of my observations about episode 11. You may have noticed that the name of the cereal is Sugar Oatsies. Back then, you could promote how much sugar was in the product by having it be in the name of the product. I appreciate the truth in advertising back in the 1980s. Try Sugar Oatsies. Your kid will be so pumped up on sugar, they'll be able to run to the dentist. <laughs> I'm sure there were some vitamins in there somewhere, you know, vitamin sugar A, sugar C, and sugar D. Yeah. Uh, very healthy. Michelle enters the scene with balloons on her fanny. Um, I'm not sure if you could put balloons on a baby's butt on TV these days. I'm sure the helium lobby would get very upset. Yeah, but we love helium here at Full House Rewind. We're pumping it into the studio right now. <laughs> then um, a limo driver shows up on the front porch and then just stands there and doesn't get to say a word. Poor guy. You know, some actors have to take any job just to keep their doggone health insurance. I've been there, pal. I once had an acting gig where I had to wear a horse costume for a whole day. And I was the rear end of the horse. <laughs> oh, Wilbur. <laughs> I'm not sure if it was Mary-Kate or Ashley in the scene where I do an impression of Michelle's voice, but they're really laughing during the bit. Sometimes we could really make them laugh uh, live on camera. And that was, uh, that was definitely one of those times. Well, and then the show ends with us driving in Danny's car. And spoiler alert, that really is us in the car in the close-up shot, but that is not us in the shot going across the bridge. I'm sorry, everybody. Those were actors just dressed like us. Now, this episode got me thinking about how close-knit Bob and John and I really were in real life. It's not every day that you get cast on a successful television show, and it's even more rare when you get to work with people who become your best friends. I feel so lucky that we were all able to recognize that, and it's a big reason our friendships lasted so long. You know, as you get older, friendships are hard especially when work and life pull you in different directions and all over the world. But it's the people you're willing to show up for and those people who show up for you that make all the difference. We were there for each other through births, deaths, marriage, divorce, 
you know, stuff that many of us go through. So when I say this show means a lot to me, this is definitely one of the reasons. My life would not be as full without it. And that's episode number 11, also known as the Big 3-0. We'd like to hear your thoughts about Full House. Tell us about your favorite episode or just why you love the show so much. Or maybe you got a question for me. I don't know. Send us an email with the link at socials at podco.us. We close every episode of Full House Rewind by giving all of you who need it a hug. This week, our hug goes out to those that feel they need a friend, you know, someone they can turn to, a shoulder to cry on, a word of encouragement. Sometimes you just need a friend to be there for you. You don't have to talk or say something profound. Sometimes just being there for someone is enough. So, hi, Dave. Oh, hey, you guys. I was just wrapping up the show. I was wondering where you guys have been. We're packing. Packing? Yep. I got a job as a forest ranger. Forest ranger? Wow, congratulations. And I'm going to go and be his best friend. And I'm going to drive them to the forest and go live off the grid for a while. We didn't know how to tell you, Dave. Well... That's okay. I'm I'm going to miss you guys, but you know, I'm happy for all of you guys and thank you so much for helping me here on the show. We love you and all of the Full House fans. Yes, we do. We sure do. We'll come back and visit sometime. For sure. Yes, we will. Well, I sure hope so. This is actually perfect timing to include you guys in the Full House hug. So, for all of you who need it, here's your Full House hug from all of us here at Full House Rewind. Come on, guys, bring it in. You too, Granny Tanny. <laughs> Aww, I love you guys. And I love you guys. That's our show. We'd like to thank our special guest, Andrea Barber, for stopping by. And good luck to, to Comet and Mr. Woodchuck and Granny Tanny. Man, I'm going to miss you guys, but... Join us next time here on Full House Rewind. You can watch all of our episodes on our Full House Rewind YouTube channel. See you guys. Bye. Wave bye. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this episode of Full House Rewind. We'll see you next week.